Okay, this tutorial will be um, will show you how to create the, this animation using Exara uh, Extreme Pro version four. So I'll show you the animation. And what was actually happening is they would appear here, they would fade in, and then it would slide across each one of these. Um, I guess I can drag the window bigger and you can see them all there. So uh, let's see here. I think if I hit F5, yeah, there we go. They'll go again. So you can see how they're just fading in over here. Okay. If we want to take a look at our frames making up this project, we can go Utilities, Gallery, Frame Gallery. I'll drag this down here. And these are all the frames that make up this uh, particular animation here. So if I click on each, you can see that there's my first graphic. I've got it, um, the transparency set to 70%. Uh, and you can do that over here by clicking on this little uh, glass for transparency. And uh, we'll click this and then, oops, pardon me. There it is right here, 70%. And so as I click through, the next frame is simply bringing it full transparency. And I go to the next frame. And if I slide this over here, you can see that, that what was over here has slid over here, full transparency. And on the same frame, we displayed the next image at 70% uh, transparency. If I click over here, you'll see that it is 70%. And then on to the next frame. Now that appears full transparency, or I should say no transparency. Uh, and that one is still there. And now we'll go to the next frame. And these two objects are side by side. And our third object is finally appearing. And that is uh, transparent as well. Uh, let's select the object, transparency, and there you can see it. So basically, that's the pattern that you'll uh, see me apply here. We can also go into utilities and galleries, name gallery. Now this animation will not work unless you name each one of these objects. You only have to name it once. So when you first appears here on the, um, on the animation, you actually have to name it. Even the background, the blue background here that you see has to be named. If you don't name it, you cannot anim animate the object unless it is named. Um, now the text boxes, if we go on through over here probably to the last frame, these text boxes that are back here, those are not named. They don't need to be because they're not animated. They simply just appear on the last frame. So right here are the names, and then down here in the lower portion, these are actually the names of the files that you're using. Okay, I'm going to show you some interesting facts on how I um, uh, created this. I'm just going to close these for now and bring over this document here. And uh, you can only use JPEG images according to um, uh, Exara, uh, the help on this, the manual. Uh, the page options, uh, view, if you go into view, you have to uncheck import JPEGs as 96 DPI. The reason why I had to do that is because when I actually put this into a web page, the, um, depending on what your screen res resolution was, they were getting um, uh, blurred. They weren't real sharp images. So uh, I learned the hard way that to go into uh, page options and view. And uh, where is it here? Um, this checkbox right here, import JPEGs at 96 DPI. Make sure that is not checked. We'll cancel out of that. And let's go right back to uh, what we had here. Next is uh, the background. A uh, little interesting math going on here that made the whole project uh, really easy to put together. Hadn't planned it this way, just got lucky. <laughs> uh, 
Um, background size is the, which is the, the blue background here, is actually 1,000 pix by 140 pixels. The graphics all start at 25 pix from the bottom. So from the bottom up, I went 25 pix. Um, and that's all contr controlled by your XY coordinates right here. Um, the text boxes are five pixels up from the bottom. Uh, and then there is actually 10 pix pixels between each picture. So if I move this out of the way, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pixels. And I've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten pixel areas. So it worked out very well figuring out the math here because oh the other thing is is each picture that I've got on here is one hundred pixels wide. So you've got nine pictures times 100 pixels, that's 900 pix, okay, plus the 10, 10 pixel spaces in between, there's 100 right there, plus the 900, that equals the 1,000 that it took to make up the entire uh, animation background. So some interesting math there. Each one of these uh, graphics is 116, I believe it is, uh, let's see here. 116 tall, so 100 wide by 116 tall. Um, transparency, uh, I just showed you, was all at 70%. Text boxes must not be named because they are static uh, tweens. We covered that. Um, I saved to Flash 8. And then options, uh, once again, for the JPEG quality. Um, I had to do uh, quality at 100% because of the clarity of the images. And here's going back to my math, here's the math that I actually use for the pictures. So if we go back to the image, uh, let's get rid of that. There we go, kind of move things around a little bit. Um, the wall stand off this one here is, is at, um, the X coordinate is at 890 pixels. So that's from, we're placing them from the right edge, they are, they're starting. So they're 890 pixels uh, from the left edge, but they're, we're placing them on the right edge. So the next one, the smart key vice, right over here, is 780 pixels from the left edge, so on and so forth. So you can see there's increments going on here. So we go from 800s to 700s, 600s, 500s, and then we go to the 10s, 10, 8, 7, 6, so the math worked out really nice there. So we're just going to go File. We'll do a Close. And we'll do File, New, Animation. And uh, it's just telling me about creating Flash and animations uh, that to make sure that I name each one of the pictures as I bring them in. So we'll close that. Now I've got to set up my uh, canvas here, my page actually, the background. So we're going to go um, File, Page Options, and we're going to put the width, as we discussed before, to 1000, and the height is going to be 140. And then once again, we want to make sure and view that import JPEGs as 96 DPI is not checked, and we'll apply, and click OK. OK, let's adjust our zoom a little bit. Here we go, drawing. I um, guess that wasn't it. Page, there we go.